Hello, my name is Sydney Lambert, and today my first informative speech will be on the different aspects of tattooing. Did you know there is more than one aspect of tattooing? You can't just simply walk into a tattoo parlor and ask for this tattoo that you've been wanting for a long time now. You need to consider the artist's genre and portfolio. You need to consider the tools they use and the history behind tattoos before you even consider getting your first tattoo. Starting off with art genres, as Caitlin Ellison has said in her article, 12 Classic Tattoo Styles You Need to Know with 99 Designs, there are many different genres. One of them being Japanese art. It is, histor it is a historical form of art genre, and it is a more traditional theme, but can also be used in a more modern way as long as it's integrated correctly and still recognized as Japanese art. Another form is realistic art, and this is where the art looks how we see in everyday life. How, like, a dog looks like a dog, a person looks like a person, a house looks like a house. It doesn't have some sort of difference to it. Versus surrealistic art is the opposite, where it's something you don't see in everyday life. It's something you will never see in everyday life. It is something different it has more emotion to it it's artistic in many different forms it's odd but different in a good way hopefully the second discussion would be about the tools used for tattooing the most common form being needles mostly needles are used inside a tattoo gun there are occasions where there's stick and poke tattooing um that's mainly something somebody would do on their own which is not recommended but many do it uh tattoo guns are often used um because it's more intricate designs it's more efficient and it gets the job done quicker versus a stick and poke it can fade easily it can have improper healing processes because it wasn't done properly um but the tattoo's purpose is to either pierce or puncture the skin and to make sure the ink is deeply inside your skin to make sure it does not fade and that it permanently stays in the skin. Another form used is stone, which is a more ancient form, which was recognized first in Asia, um, where they take like a stone and they hit it with a hammer and it goes into your skin that way. That is the purpose of puncturing. It is not commonly used these days, but you can still go to some parts in Asia and they still do it. The third aspect would be the history behind tattooing. The origin started in Japan, but this is not confirmed, but it was in 5000 BCE or even older, um, but not confirmed. Another form where it was actually proven was to be found on a mummy estimated from 3300 BCE, um, and it was found near Europe. But that is where tattooing has started. It was mostly correlated with religion or culture. And the rest is history. So in conclusion, we have discussed the different three different aspects of tattooing in terms of art form, tools, and through history. I hope that this has helped you a little more with discussing your new tattoo and hopefully right decisions are made thank you